Namaste and welcome to a knowledge pack journey 101 design terms every graphic designer should know I have carefully categorized these terms into a variety of topics covering essential aspects like design theory typography color mastery design psychology design movements industry trends advanced brand strategies design techniques visual storytelling advanced illustration sustainability in design art direction digital marketing advertising ui ux prototyping and testing whether you are a seasoned designer or just starting this comprehensive guide is your go to resource knowing these terms will help you in unlocking your creative potential fostering effective team communication client interactions and staying ahead of industry trends Do subscribe the channel for more such content and stay connected with me. And with that, let's elevate your skills and expand your design vocabulary. Basics first. Let's check out the terms related to design theory. Gestalt principles. Gestalt principles are fundamental in the world of design. These principles help us understand how our brains perceive and interpret visual information. The law of proximity groups elements close together. The law of similarity groups similar elements. The law of closure allows our brains to complete shapes. The law of continuity guides the viewer's eye with smooth lines and the law of common fate unites elements moving in the same direction. By applying these principles, designers can create visually engaging and effective designs that communicate messages with clarity and impact. Our next term is a real gem in the world of design. semiotics Semiotics is the study of signs and symbols and how we interpret them. Think of it as the secret language of design. It's all about understanding the meanings behind the visual elements we use. Consider an everyday example. A red stop sign. It's not just a red octagon. It's a symbol that instantly communicates stop without words. Understanding semiotics empowers us to choose the right colors, shapes and images to evoke the desired response from our viewers. It's a potent tool for effective visual communication. Next up is golden ratio. In the world of design, there's a timeless secret known as the golden ratio. It's a mathematical proportion often represented as the number 5. approximately equal to 1.618 this ratio is found in nature art and architecture and is renowned for its aesthetic appeal designers use the golden ratio to create visually pleasing compositions by applying its harmonious proportions to elements such as layout typography and images it's a tool that enhances balance and beauty in design making it an essential concept in any designer's toolkit. Next up is visual rhythm. Visual rhythm in design is like a carefully orchestrated dance of elements on the canvas. It's the art of creating movement, balance and a sense of flow within your composition. Whether through the repetition of shapes, colors or the deliberate arrangement of visual elements, Visual rhythm adds a beat to your design that captures the viewer's attention and guides their gaze. Just like in music, it can be fast and energetic or slow and calming, allowing you to convey different moods and messages in your visuals. Mastering the concept of visual rhythm empowers designers to create engaging and harmonious designs. that keep the audience captivated next term in the list is aesthetic empathy aesthetic empathy is the art of designing with a deep understanding 
of your audience preferences and emotions. It's about tuning into the unique aesthetic sensibilities and cultural nuances of your target audience, allowing you to create visuals that resonate on a personal and emotional level. For instance, a designer creating a website for a healthcare organization should consider the serene and soothing color palettes as opposed to vibrant energetic choices suitable for a music festival site. Aesthetic empathy is indispensable because it enables designers to bridge the gap between their creativity and the audience expectation, ultimately delivering more impactful and relatable designs that not only appeal to the eye but also touch the heart, forging a genuine connection. Negative space, often called white space, is the unoccupied area around and between design elements. It's not just empty space, it's a powerful design tool. By artfully utilizing negative space, you create balance, clarity and focus in your designs. It allows your content to breathe, helping viewers or users navigate and interpret your work more easily. Negative space isn't passive, it's an active participant in design, enabling the main elements to shine and enhancing overall aesthetics. So remember, in the world of graphic design, what you don't see can be just as important as what you do see. Now let's move on to the next topic, advanced typography and look into the terms related to it. Kerning and tracking, both essential typographic techniques, are all about perfecting letter spacing for optimal readability. Kerning focuses on adjusting the space between individual letter pairs to eliminate awkward gaps or collisions, while tracking uniformly alters the overall spacing between all the letters in a block of text, influencing text density and legibility. These tools empower designers to fine-tune typography for polish and visually pleasing results. Our next term is ligatures. Ligatures are the aesthetic connectors in typography, blending letter forms into graceful, harmonious, unions. These specialized characters replace specific letter combinations to enhance the usual flow and aesthetics of text. For example, instead of fi appearing as two separate characters, a ligature can connect them into a single fluid character. This results in a more visually pleasing and legible representation, especially in fonts with elaborate or decorative letter forms. By mastering the art of ligatures, designers unlock a world of elegant typographic design where letters seamlessly join together, creating a distinctive and refined look in their compositions, making them not only more visually appealing but also improving readability. Next up is X height. X height is about mastering the balance between uppercase and lowercase letters. It refers to the height of the lowercase X in a typeface and plays a pivotal role in defining a font's overall appearance and readability. Designers leverage X height to ensure that lowercase letters harmonize with uppercase characters, making text more legible and visually consistent. By understanding and managing X height, typographers achieve a balanced and pleasing text composition, enhancing the user's reading experience. Our next stop is variable fonts, and they represent the future of responsive typography. Unlike traditional static fonts, they adapt seamlessly to different devices and screen sizes, offering designers unparalleled flexibility. With a single variable font, you can control aspects like weight, width, and style, customizing text for an optimal reading experience across various platforms. It's a game changer in web and graphic design, 
simplifying font management and ensuring consistent and adaptable typography in a digital age. Now let's look into typography hierarchy. Typography hierarchy is the key to crafting sophisticated and impactful text arrangements. It involves varying font sizes and styles to guide the reader's eye and emphasize essential information. Designers use this technique to enhance the structure and legibility of their content, ensuring that the most critical messages stand out clearly in any design. Tactile typography is a design trend that's redefining how we perceive and interact with typography. It goes beyond the visual aspect of type and brings a tangible dimension to text. Designers are experimenting with materials, textures and 3D printing to create typefaces that can be physically touched, felt and even experienced by the visually impaired. Tactical typography bridges the gap between design and accessibility, making typography more inclusive and engaging for everyone. Whether it's through embossed lettering or innovative materials, this trend is a testament to the evolving nature of graphic design. Where type becomes an art form you can touch. Kinetic typography is the art of animating text to create dynamic and engaging visuals. Kinetic typography is widely used in video content, advertisements and presentations to capture viewers attention and convey messages with flair. Examples include text that dances to the beat of music, words that morph and change to reflect the narrative and sentences that playfully interact with the environment in which they are played, breathing life into the written word. By adding movement, designers bring static words to life, enhancing their impact and storytelling. Destructive typography is an innovative design trend that challenges the conventions of traditional typography. It involves breaking, distorting or manipulating letter forms in a way that may seem chaotic or unconventional, but it serves a deliberate artistic purpose. This style pushes the boundaries of legibility and invites viewers to engage with text on a more abstract and interpretive level. Destructive typography encourages designers to experiment with negative space, color, texture, and various techniques to create visually striking and thought-provoking typographic compositions. It's a bold and captivating approach that's gaining momentum in the world of design, offering a fresh perspective on the power of words and their visual impact. Our next section is about color mastery. And the first stop is color gamut. It is the realm of color that a device or medium can faithfully reproduce. It's the science behind how accurately colors are represented in various contexts from digital displays to print. Understanding color gamut is essential for designers as it ensures that their creative work appears as intended across different mediums offering a consistent and true-to-life visual experience. Next up is Pantone Matching System or PMS. It stands as the industry's gold standard for precision in color selection. Designers rely on this comprehensive color matching system to ensure exact color reproduction across various materials and media. By referencing the Pantone color codes, they achieve consistency and accuracy 
essential for branding and design projects. Our next key term is color harmony, which is the art of orchestrating colors to evoke emotions and elevate design. It invokes the skillful blending of colors to create a visually pleasing and emotionally resonant composition. Designers use color harmony to strike the right balance, ensuring that colors work together cohesively and elicit specific feelings, whether it's calm and serene with analogous colors, or vibrant and energetic with complementary ones. It's a powerful tool for crafting visuals that engage and communicate effectively. Color grading. The art of refining and enhancing the colors in visual content such as photos and videos. It allows creators to manipulate color tones, contrast and mood to convey a specific atmosphere or style. For example, in digital advertisements, color grading is often employed to ensure product images or videos align with the brand's identity. This might involve adjusting the colors to match the company's logo or creating a consistent visual style across various marketing materials. Whether for film, photography or digital media, mastering color grading is essential for achieving stunning and emotionally resonant visuals. Let's conclude this section with the commonly used term color palettes. These are the foundation of visual design, allowing artists and designers to curate distinctive and harmonious sets of colors. These palettes are the building blocks for creating logos, websites, illustrations, and much more. By mastering the art of color palettes, designers can infuse their creations with personality and coherence ensuring that every element fits seamlessly into the overall design concept. Next section is Design Psychology. Our opening term is Cognitive Load. Cognitive load is the measure of the mental effort required to process information. In design, it's crucial to manage cognitive load efficiently. By simplifying complex information and organizing content logically, designers reduce the mental strain on users, making it easier for them to engage with and comprehend the content. For example, in a mobile app, minimizing the number of steps required to complete a task or providing clear concise instructions reduces cognitive load, leading to a more user-friendly experience and increased engagement. Final term of this section is the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a fundamental principle in visual composition that divides an image into a grid of nine equal parts by two equally spaced horizontal and vertical lines. This technique is essential for creating balanced and engaging visuals. By placing key elements or points of interest along these grid lines or at their intersection, designers achieve a pleasing and harmonious composition. For instance, in a landscape photograph, positioning the horizon along one of the horizontal lines and a prominent tree at an intersection point can create a visually appealing and well-balanced image. The rule of thirds guides viewers' eyes and adds depth to a design, making it a valuable tool in graphic design, photography, and various visual arts. Our next section is all about art and design movements. And let's start with Swiss style. Swiss style, known for its hallmark principles of minimalism and precision, is a design movement renowned for its clean, 
uncluttered layouts and typographic excellence. It is sought after design approach that emphasizes clarity and functionality, making it easier for users to understand and engage with visual content. For example, in a Swiss style poster for an art exhibition, you will find a grid based layout, sans serif typefaces and minimal color palettes that ensures information is presented in an organized and easily digestible manner. Swiss style is cherished for its ability to communicate complex ideas with simplicity, a quality highly valued in the design world. Next is Surrealism. Surrealism is an artistic movement that celebrates the unconventional and fantastical. It encourages artists to explore the dreamlike and imaginative realms, often by juxtaposing unlikely elements or distorting reality. Embracing surrealism is vital in art and design to break free from traditional boundaries, ignite creativity, and provoke thought. For instance, a surreal design might blend unexpected elements like a flying fish in a cityscape to challenge perceptions and spark imagination, creating a memorable and thought-provoking visual experience. Next term is Modernism. It is a pivotal design movement celebrating simplicity, functionality and the elimination of excess ornamentation. It emphasizes clean lines, geometric shapes and a focus on form following function. Modernism's impact on design extends to architecture, art and typography, laying the foundation for the minimalist, streamlined designs we see today. Our next stop is postmodernism. Postmodernism in design encourages the playful exploration of irony and intertextuality. It challenges traditional norms, blending multiple styles and cultural references to create visually engaging and thought-provoking designs. Postmodernism is essential for breaking free from design conventions, fostering creativity, and stimulating creative thinking. Designers often employ elements like juxtaposed imagery, unconventional typography, and cultural references to craft designs that challenge and engage the viewer on various levels. Next movement that we will be looking into is Bohaus. Bohaus, a pioneering design movement, champions simplicity, functionality, and the fusion of art and technology. Its impact on graphic design is profound emphasizing the use of geometric shapes, clean lines, and a focus on the relationship between form and function. Bohaus laid the foundation for modern graphic design with its timeless principles of minimalist design and the integration of art and technology. Bohaus' principles continue to influence contemporary design by emphasizing the importance of relationship between aesthetics and utility making it a must low movement for graphic designers. Next is Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau is recognized for its integrate organic forms and ornate details. It has had a lasting impact on decorative and illustrative design. It often features quirky hand-drawn illustrations whimsical typography and a light-hearted approach to design. This movement encourages designers to infuse a sense of fun and spontaneity into their work, making it a valuable source of inspiration for those seeking to create engaging and unconventional designs. Next is Art Deco. A design movement that thrived in the early 20th century, a timeless source of inspiration for today's graphic designers. Characterized by its bold use of geometric shapes, intricate patterns and luxurious materials, Art Deco has left an enduring mark on design. Its elegance and opulence continue to captivate modern sensibilities, making it a valuable reference for creating virtually stunning and sophisticated graphics 
that resonate with contemporary audiences. Last in this section is pop art. Iconic for its use of bright colors, sharp lines and a sense of fun, pop art has left an indelible mark on graphic design, influencing poster art, advertising and visual culture. Its use of vivid colors, comic book aesthetics and the incorporation of iconic symbols have left a lasting mark on the creative world. Understanding pop art is vital for graphic designers as it inspires fresh, eye-catching visuals and captures the spirit of a culture constantly bombarded by media and advertisements. Our next section is all about industry trends. And let's start with nostalgic design. Retro and vintage design aka nostalgic design a beloved trend among graphic designers taps into the timeless allure of the past. These styles draw inspiration from bygone eras like the 60s, 70s and 80s, offering a rich palette of nostalgic visuals, typography and color schemes. For graphic designers, the appeal lies in their ability to evoke sentiment and evoke a sense of authenticity. Whether you are crafting a classic logo poster or website. Understanding how to infuse your designs with a retro or vintage charm can transport your audience to a different time while maintaining a contemporary touch. Next in row is minimalism. Minimalism is a design style celebrated for its simplicity, clarity and focus on essential elements, emphasizing the less is more approach. It strips away excess elements, focusing on clean lines, generous white space and essential visual elements. Minimalism is essential to improve clarity, reduce visual clutter and enhance user experience. For example, a minimalist website might feature a stark clean layout with ample white space, allowing the content or product to take the center stage, offering an uncluttered and user-friendly experience. Maximalism, a resurgent design trend, is all about going big, bold and vibrant and note that this is trending in 2024 it's an exhilarating departure from minimalism featuring rich and complex compositions with eye-catching patterns intense colors and an abundance of elements maximalism can be used to evoke a sense of energy excitement and complexity in various projects from posters to packaging now let's talk about mixed media. Mixed media in design is the art of combining various traditional and digital artistic techniques to create visually striking and distinctive compositions. It's a versatile approach that allows designers to blend elements like hand-drawn illustrations, photography and digital graphics, offering a unique and layered visual experience. Mixed media is needed to infuse originality and depth into designs, making them stand out in a crowded digital landscape. Next is Emotional Design Emotional design is the practice of creating experiences that evoke specific emotions in users or viewers, often through deliberate design choices. Designers can use emotional design by utilizing color, psychology, storytelling, and user-centric interfaces to generate emotional responses. It fosters a strong bond between the user and the design, whether it's a website, app, or product. Next is biophilic design. Biophilic design is an innovative approach that integrates elements of nature into the built environment. Designers can use biophilic principles to incorporate elements like natural light, greenery and organic shapes into architecture, interiors and products. 
For example, a workspace with abundant natural light and indoor plants can improve employee well-being and productivity by mimicking outdoor environments, fostering a connection with nature within an indoor setting. For graphic designers, this can involve incorporating natural motifs, colors and patterns into designs which can evoke feelings of tranquility and harmony. It is needed to create spaces and products that promote well-being, reduce stress and enhance human connection with the natural world. Let's move on to cyberpunk aesthetics. It is immersed design in a futuristic and dystopian realm characterized by high-tech urban landscapes and a gritty, rebellious edge. It is needed to create visually compelling and edgy designs that reflect the evolving digital world and its complex relationship with society. Designers can use cyberpunk aesthetics to convey a sense of futurism, technology and social commentary. Examples include neon-lit cityscapes, glitch art, and cyber-enhanced characters in various media, reflecting the blend of technology and human experience. Next up is Retrofuturism. It is a captivating design style that merges the aesthetics of past vision of the future with contemporary elements. It's needed to evoke nostalgia while offering a fresh take on the future making it appealing to a broad audience. Designers can employ retrofuturism to infuse their creations with a sense of nostalgia and curiosity, creating visuals that are both familiar and forward-looking. Next term that we will be looking into is glitch art. It embraces digital imperfections as a form of artistic expression. It intentionally introduces errors, distortions and disruptions into digital media to create unconventional and thought-provoking visuals. Examples include distorted images, scrambled text and glitchy animations, which all invite viewers to question the boundaries of digital art and design. It is needed to challenge conventional aesthetics and infuse design with a raw, experimental edge. Designers can use glitch art to convey a sense of unpredictability and provoke emotional responses, making it a valuable tool for those seeking to push creative boundaries. Last term in this section is Neo Vintage Design. Neo Vintage Design seamlessly blends classic and modern design elements to create a fresh yet nostalgic aesthetic. This approach is needed to infuse contemporary projects with a sense of timelessness and familiarity. Examples include combining vintage typography with sleek, minimalist layouts and branding, or adding retro elements to website interfaces offering a unique and memorable user experience. Designers can use Neo Vintage to evoke specific eras or moods while maintaining a contemporary edge. Heat mapping, the hot new trend, is all about rocking vibrant, gradient-like color schemes that give off those thermal imaging vibes. It's like adding a whole new dimension to graphic design, pulling people in with its eye-popping allure. This trend isn't just for show, it's the go-to for killer branding, dynamic posters and immersive web experiences. You will spot it everywhere from digital art and social media graphics to packaging, user interface design and even making waves in the fashion scene. Whether you are going abstract or blending it into everyday subjects, heat mapping brings that extra oomph. Designers are using it to weave heat map inspired gradients and textures into their work, turning out visually interesting patterns and nailing data visualization in the coolest possible way. 
the scrapbooking design trend is a vibrant celebration of individuality and warmly embracing the beautiful imperfections that weave our unique stories. An example of this is Spotify's Wrapped in 2023, a cool digital scrapbook with pictures and captions, making each person's music taste feel special and fun. This trend isn't just about making things look nice. It's about evoking emotions, connecting with you and letting you take a peek into a designer's personal scrapbook of ideas. Advanced Branding Strategies And let's start with transmedia branding. It is the strategic extension of a brand's narrative and message across various media platforms and channels. It's needed to create a consistent and emotive brand experience for the audience, allowing them to engage with the brand's story on different levels and through multiple touch points. A prime example is Coca-Cola Share a Coke campaign which utilized personalized labels and digital engagement to enhance brand connection, transcending traditional advertising to create a multimedia brand narrative. Designers can use transmedia branding by ensuring visual consistency in storytelling across print, web, social media, and even in in-person events. Co-branding is a strategic alliance between two or more brands where they join forces for mutual benefit. It's a powerful way to tap into each other's audience and credibility, opening doors to new opportunities and market reach. Designers play a pivotal role in co-branding by creating visuals that seamlessly blend the brand identities while highlighting the unique strengths of each partner. Notable examples include Nike and Apple's collaboration on the Apple Watch, demonstrating how co-branding can result in innovative and successful products that appeal to a broad customer base. Co-branding can boost the reputation of two or more brands depending on the strategy employed. Experiential branding is a holistic approach to creating immersive, memorable, and multi-sensory experiences within physical spaces, events, or installations. It is needed to engage and captivate audiences in a unique way, leaving a lasting impact and impression. Designers employ experiential design to craft interactive exhibits, retail spaces, and brand activations that evoke emotions, foster connections, and tell compelling stories. Notable examples include pop-up stores, interactive websites, and events like Apple's in-store product demonstrations that envelope customers in the brand's world, enhancing their brand perception and engagement. Our next section is Advanced Design Techniques. And first up is Data Visualization, which is the art of turning complex data into clear and compelling visuals. Graphic designers harness data visualization techniques to create compelling infographics, interactive charts, and interactive maps that make data more understandable and impactful. It is essential for simplifying intricate information, aiding in decision making, and conveying stories through data. Visual metaphor are like storytelling with pictures conveying complex ideas or concepts through imagery, enabling viewers to interpret and understand the message more easily. They help convey big ideas using simple images. Whether it's in logos, ads, or websites, visual metaphors make things relatable and memorable. Designers use them to tell powerful stories, simplify complicated stuff, and connect with people's feelings making designs more engaging and unforgettable. 
Responsive web design is the art of crafting websites that seamlessly adapt to various screen sizes and devices, ensuring an optimal user experience. It's essential in a world where users access websites from smartphones, tablets, and desktops. It can be used by employing flexible layouts, fluid images, and media queries to automatically adjust content and design elements. For example, a responsive website will reformat its layout when viewed on a mobile phone, making text and images easily readable without the need for zooming or scrolling horizontally. Responsive design is needed to provide consistent and user-friendly access to content regardless of the device. Generative art is a captivating fusion of technology and creativity where algorithms are harnessed to produce ever-evolving and one-of-its-kind artworks. This innovative approach allows artists and designers to explore the endless possibilities of dynamic and constant constantly changing visual compositions. Generative art pushes the boundaries of traditional artistic methods, inviting creators to collaborate with code to craft pieces that continuously surprise and inspire. Morphing is a dynamic design technique that smoothly transitions one element or shape into another creating visually captivating animations. Designers use morphing to create mesmerizing transitions in web interfaces, logo animations, and video effects. For example, a logo that elegantly transforms from one shape to another can convey a sense of transformation and adaptability for a brand. It's needed to add an element of surprise and fluidity to design, enhancing user engagement and storytelling. Hologram design harnesses 3D holographic technology to produce dynamic and immersive visual experiences. It's invaluable for capturing attention and fostering innovation in various fields. A prime example is the use of holographic elements in event invitations or interactive exhibits, creating a memorable and visually stunning interaction that engages and mesmerizes the audience. Designers leverage holograms in packaging, advertising, and interactive displays to deliver a futuristic and captivating visual impact. Duotone is a striking design technique that simplifies images into just two colors, often creating a bold and visually captivating effect. Designers use Duotone in social media campaigns, poster art, branding and web design to create a unique and attention-grabbing look, replacing the darks with one color and the lights with another. An example is Spotify's use of Duotone in its branding, where images are transformed into a consistent and recognizable color scheme, reinforcing the brand's identity and visual appeal. It is needed to add a strong visual impact and consistency to images, which can be especially useful for branding, highlighting specific elements, or creating a cohesive visual identity. <music> Ephemeral design is on the rise as temporary and short-lived designs gain popularity in marketing and events. These designs are created to capture immediate attention and engagement often on platforms like social media where content has a brief lifespan. For example, TikTok, Instagram Stories, and Snapchat. Ephemeral designs allow brands and event organizers to create a sense of urgency and exclusivity, compelling audiences to act quickly and participate in time-limited experiences, promotions, or events. 
Sonic branding is the art of creating distinctive audio elements to build brand's recognition through sound. Designers can use Sonic branding to craft unique jingles, sound logos and audio cues that reinforce a brand's image and leave a lasting impression. For instance, Intel's iconic Intel Inside Jingle is a prime example of effective sonic branding, instantly associating the sound with the brand and its quality. It is essential for brands seeking to enforce their identity and establish a memorable auditory connection with their audience. Spot UV is a design enhancement method that adds glossy tactile accents to specific areas of a print or packaging design. Designers utilize Spot UV to make logos, text or images stand out, adding a touch of sophistication and depth to their projects. Examples include business cards with a shiny raised logo or a matte finish book cover with a glossy, intricate pattern where Spot UV enhances aesthetics and branding. It's needed to create visual contrast and draw attention to key elements, elevating the overall visual impact. Anamorphic art is a captivating form of optical illusion that has entranced artists and viewers for centuries. It is a technique where distorted images are skillfully drawn or painted, but their true form is only revealed when viewed from a specific angle or reflected in a mirrored surface. This art form challenges perception and invites the audience to interact with the piece often producing jaw-dropping three-dimensional effects. An amorphic art showcases the power of perspective and creativity, demonstrating how a simple shift in viewpoint can transform a seemingly chaotic image into a stunning and coherent masterpiece. This section is all about visual storytelling. And first up is sequential art. It is the art of storytelling through the medium of comics, graphic novels and other visual narratives. It's needed to convey complex narratives in a visually engaging and accessible way. Designers can use sequential art techniques to enhance storytelling in various mediums, from web design with interactive comic elements, to infographics that tell a story through visual sequences. A well-known example is Scott McCloud's Understanding Comics, which not only explains the art of comics, but demonstrates how sequential art can be a powerful means of communication and storytelling. Metaphoric Design is a creative approach that uses metaphors, analogies and symbolism to convey complex ideas or emotions through visuals. It's needed to make abstract or intricate concepts more relatable and engaging for audiences. Designers utilize metaphoric design to tell a story, simplify communication or evoke emotion, enhancing the impact of their work. For example, using a key to represent excess or a tree to symbolize growth and sustainability are common metaphoric design choices that add depth and meaning to a design, making it more engaging and thought-provoking. A story arc shapes a narrative, guiding the progression of a story from its beginning to its conclusion. It typically involves key elements like exposition, rising action, climax, falling action and resolution, providing a framework for building tension, developing characters and delivering a satisfying narrative experience to the audience. 
Designers can apply story arcs to web design, user interfaces, and visual communication, ensuring that the user journey follows a logical and engaging progression. For example, a website can use a story arc to guide visitors through a narrative that introduces a product, highlights its benefits, and culminates in a call to action, making the user experience both informative and emotionally engaging. They are needed to captivate audiences, create emotional connections, and convey messages effectively. Iconography is the art of creating clear and universally understood visual symbols. It is needed for effective communication and design, offering a concise and intuitive way to convey ideas or actions. For example, the hamburger icon representing a menu in a mobile app is a universally recognized symbol that simplifies navigation, ensuring a seamless user experience. Designers use icons extensively in user interfaces, signage, and branding to simplify complex concepts and guide user interactions. Now it's time to jump into the advanced illustration section. And let's talk about vector portraits. Vector portraits are a sophisticated form of digital art where designers create detailed, scalable, and precise illustrations using vector graphics. Designers can use vector portraits in branding, personal artworks, or as striking visual elements in marketing campaigns. They are needed to capture intricate facial expressions, intricate details, and maintain high quality resolution, making them ideal for various applications. Low Poly Art It is a captivating design style characterized by the use of polygonal elements to create 3D-like visuals. Designers use this style to craft everything from game environments and character designs to illustrations and posters. For example, in a video game, low poly art can be used to create stunning landscapes and characters that stand out while maintaining a sense of simplicity and style. It's needed to infuse digital and print media with a unique, eye-catching aesthetic that balances minimalism with depth. Brushless illustration is a contemporary approach to digital painting that eliminates the use of traditional brushes or brush strokes. Instead, it leverages advanced digital tools like generative algorithms and vector graphics to create visually striking and highly adaptable illustrations. Designers can use brushless illustration for creating intricate, scalable and dynamic artworks for various media from branding and web design to print materials. For example, artists can utilize brushless techniques to craft intricate vector illustrations that remain sharp and clean at any size, or to generate intricate patterns and textures for unique design projects. This technique is needed to push the boundaries of artistic expression and enhance design versatility. Calligram, a set of words arranged in such a way that it forms a thematically related image. In this creative technique, the typography and layout plays a crucial role in conveying the meaning of the words. Essential for designers, calligrams provide a dynamic and imaginative way to communicate messages, allowing them to infuse artistic expression into textual context. By skillfully manipulating typography and layout, designers can use calligrams to convey emotions, themes, or narratives in a visually compelling manner. Next section is Sustainability in Design. And let's see what biomimicry is. Biomimicry is a design approach that draws inspiration from nature's ingenious solutions to address human challenges and create sustainable innovations. Essential in a world striving for eco-conscious solutions, 
It allows designers to mimic nature's efficiency and adaptability. In graphic design, it's vital for eco-conscious designs, where designers study nature's patterns, colors, and adaptability to incorporate organic and sustainable elements. For instance, a graphic designer might draw inspiration from a seashell symmetry for a logo design. Designers can harness biomimicry in various ways, from architecture inspired by termite mounds to wind turbine designs, mimicking humpback whale flippers for enhanced efficiency. By looping to nature for solutions, designers can create products and systems that are not only efficient, but also environmentally responsible, fostering a deeper connection with nature while aligning designs with sustainability. Cradle to Cradle Design is a visionary approach that advocates for the creation of products with no waste in their life cycles. It aims to ensure that every component of product can be fully recycled, upcycled or safely returned to nature, eliminating the concept of waste altogether. Designers can use this approach by selecting sustainable materials, designing for disassembly and ensuring that the entire product life cycle is environmentally responsible. Just as it applies to physical products, it prompts graphic designers to use eco-friendly materials, minimize waste and ensure that the digital or print materials they design have a positive impact on the environment. Circular design is a sustainable approach that advocates for reusing, recycling and minimizing waste. For example, designing posters with reusable templates or using eco-friendly paper and inks promotes sustainability, reducing environmental impact. Graphic designers can incorporate circular design by using recyclable materials, creating designs with a long lifespan and repurposing existing assets. Designers can adopt circular design by incorporating eco-friendly materials, creating products with a longer lifespan and encouraging a culture of cycling and repurposing. Now let's move on to the art direction section. And let's start with a visual brief. Visual brief is a vital tool for creative projects serving as a comprehensive guide that outlines project goals, expectations and aesthetics through visual and written elements. It is a necessary foundation for effective collaboration between clients and designers, ensuring a shared vision and preventing misunderstandings. Designers utilize visual briefs to gain clarity on client requirements, design direction and project scope, enabling them to create solutions that align with the client's objectives and expectations. Mood films, an emerging trend in design, serve as a powerful tool for visualizing the emotional tone and atmosphere of a design concept. They are short videos that capture the essence and ambience of a project, helping both designers and clients connect with the intended mood. Designers use them to communicate the look and feel and overall sentiment of a concept making it a valuable part of the design process that transcends static visuals. Mood films are needed to ensure a shared vision and emotional resonance in design. Photo styling is the art of meticulously arranging and enhancing product and model photography to convey a desired narrative or brand identity. Designers utilize photo styling to create compelling visuals for advertising, branding, and product presentations. Ensuring that the photography aligns with the larger design vision and resonates with the target audience. It's needed to ensure that every element in an image harmoniously complements the overall design concept. Creative Direction is the guiding force behind a project's artistic vision, steering every aspect of design from visuals to messaging. Designers use creative direction to create cohesive, on-brand visuals and to make artistic decisions that serve the project's objectives 
ensuring that the end result is a captivating and impactful work of art. It's essential for ensuring a unified and compelling narrative as it harmonizes design elements and aligns them with the project's goals. Next section is Digital Marketing and Advertising. Let's start with Call to Action and we can also call it CTA. CTA is a vital element in design that prompts users to take specific actions such as clicking a button, signing up or making a purchase. CTAs are essential for guiding user interaction and engagement as they provide clear and persuasive cues for the desired response. Designers use CTAs strategically by placing them prominently in designs, using compelling language and employing contrasting colors to grab the user's attention. This effective design element drives conversions and helps users navigate and interact with digital content or interfaces. SEO or search engine optimization is the process of enhancing web content to make it more discoverable by search engines like Google. Designers can use SEO by optimizing website structure, images and metadata to improve search rankings, ultimately driving more traffic and visibility to their design portfolios, services, or products. It's essential to ensure that your online presence is easily found by users searching for relevant content. Search Engine Marketing, abbreviated as SEM, involves using paid advertising to boost online visibility and drive targeted traffic to websites. By bidding on relevant keywords, Brands can position their ads at the top of search engine results page. It's crucial for businesses and individuals to ensure they appear prominently in search results. Pay per click, abbreviated as PPC, is a digital advertising model where advertisers pay a fee each time their ad is clicked. Designers can use PPC to strategically promote their design portfolios or design-related offerings. By setting up and managing PPC campaigns, brands can ensure their work reaches a specific audience, actively searching for design services, maximizing their online exposure and potential client engagement. It's needed for efficient online promotion, offering a way to drive targeted traffic to websites, products, or services. Now, let's jump into UI UX. And let's kickstart this section with the term user-centered design. User-centered design is the cornerstone of creating meaningful and effective products. It revolves around placing users at the core of the design process, emphasizing with their needs, desires, and emotions. By embracing this approach, designers ensure that their projects are not only visually appealing, but also functional and deeply resonate with the end users resulting in superior user experiences and product success. User flow is the blueprint of a user's journey through a design, mapping out the sequence of steps they take to achieve a specific goal. It is essential to ensure a seamless and intuitive user experience. User flow provides a visual representation of the paths users can take within a design helping designers make informed decisions to enhance usability and achieve desired outcomes. Designers need user flow to identify potential bottlenecks, optimize navigation, and guide users efficiently through a website or app. 
Grid breaks. In design involves the deliberate disruption of a grid or layout structure to introduce unique visual interest and creativity. They are needed to break away from predictability and add an element of surprise or emphasis within a design. Designers use grid breaks to create focal points, enhance storytelling and encourage exploration in user interfaces. Parallax scrolling is a web design technique that creates an illusion of depth and movement as users scroll down a web page. It is needed to enhance user engagement by adding a dynamic and interactive element to a website, making it more visually appealing. Parallax scrolling can be used to tell a compelling visual story, guide users through content, and create memorable immersed experiences. Now let's look into some user experience psychological concepts. Let's move to Hicks Law. Hicks Law is a fundamental concept in user interface design that delves into the psychology of decision making. It posits that the time it takes for a user to make a decision is directly proportional to the number of choices presented. Understanding Hicks law is crucial because it guides designers in simplifying and organizing choices, leading to more intuitive and user-friendly interfaces. For example, in a website's navigation menu, implementing subcategories instead of overwhelming users with a long list of options can significantly improve the user's experience as it reduces the cognitive load and decision time, making it easier to find the desired information. Next is Fitt's Law. A cornerstone in user interface design illuminates the relationship between target size, distance, and the time it takes to reach that target. It emphasizes that larger and closer targets are easier and quicker to interact with. Understanding Fitt's Law is essential for designing intuitive interfaces because it guides the placement and sizing of interactive elements. For example, enlarging clickable buttons on an app's user interface makes them more accessible, reducing the likelihood of misclicks. Enhancing the user's overall experience. Miller's Law Miller's Law with its 7 plus or minus 2 rule emphasizes the limited capacity of human working memory to hold around 5 to 9 pieces of information at once. It's essential in design because it highlights the need for simplicity and organization in presenting information or choices to users. By adhering to this principle, designers ensure that the interface and content are not overwhelming making it easier for users to process and remember information. For instance, in a mobile app, limiting the number of navigation options or choices on a single screen can prevent cognitive load and make it easier for users to navigate and complete tasks. Next is Jacob's Law which is a fundamental principle in user interface design that emphasizes the importance of familiarity. It suggests that users prefer interfaces that align with their past experiences and expectations. This law is essential because it highlights the need for designers to follow established design patterns and conventions to ensure user satisfaction and ease of use. For instance, a website's navigation menu that features a standard layout and placement consistent with what users encounter on most websites makes it easier for visitors to navigate and find information aligning with their established mental models of how websites work. The Zekarnik Effect is a psychological phenomena that captures user attention and curiosity by exploiting the human tendency to remember and be bothered by incomplete tasks. In design, it's harnessed to engage users by initiating actions or tasks that are left unfinished, 
compelling them to return to complete these interactions. For instance, social media platforms often employ this effect through notification badges or in-progress post-drafts. Motivating users to re-engage and finish what they started, thus driving increased user participation and site traffic. Let's shift our focus to the next term, that is, F pattern and Z pattern. These are design layouts that align with how people naturally scan and read content. The F pattern layout suits text heavy pages as it starts with a horizontal movement followed by a vertical one, ideal for headlines and content. In contrast, the Z pattern layout is suitable for content with a clear visual hierarchy as it follows a Z shape left to right, then diagonally, and left to right again. These layouts are essential because they enhance content visibility and engagement by aligning with users' reading patterns. For example, a news website might use a F pattern for its articles, making it easier for readers to quickly grasp headlines and key points, while a shopping website could opt for a Z pattern to help users navigate through the content and lead them to the call to action, creating a pleasant browsing experience. Therefore, F pattern and Z pattern help readers to easily grasp and scram through content, leading to an overall pleasant experience. Neurodesign is the fusion of design and neuroscience. Focusing on the impact of design choices on human perception, emotions and behavior. It is needed to create more effective and engaging designs by understanding how the brain processes visual information. Designers can utilize insights from neuroscience to optimize user experiences. From website layouts that enhance cognitive flow to product packaging that triggers desired emotional responses. For example, a brand's choice of colors and layout can be informed by neuroscience research. To improve user engagement and comprehension, making the design more intuitive and effective. Mixed reality blends elements of both augmented reality and virtual reality to create immersive and interactive digital experiences. Mixed reality can be used to design applications, games and simulations that merge digital content with the real environment. For instance, mixed reality can enable designers to create virtual showrooms where customers can interact with products in a physical space leading to a more immersive and persuasive visual experience. It's needed because it enables designers to craft innovative, three-dimensional and interactive user interfaces, blurring the line between the digital and physical worlds. It's time to explore some UI UX design styles. And let's start with Material Design, developed by Google. It's a design language focused on creating consistent and intuitive user interfaces across various platforms and devices. It's needed to provide users with a seamless and visually pleasing experience while navigating digital interfaces. An example is the use of responsive design elements like cards and floating action buttons in a mobile app ensuring that the user can easily interact with the content regardless of the device screen size and maintaining a cohesive and user-friendly look and feel. Let's move to flat design. Flat design is a design style characterized by its simplicity, use of clean lines, bright colors and two-dimensional elements. It eliminates textures, shadow and depth to achieve a clean and straightforward aesthetic. It is needed to create user-friendly and visually appealing digital interfaces and graphics. An example is the user interface of Windows 8, featuring minimalist icons and typography which prioritizes clarity and ease of use. 
setting the stage for a cleaner, modern aesthetic in digital design. Skeomorphism Skeomorphism is a design approach that incorporates real-world visual elements into digital interfaces to make them more relatable and user-friendly. It's needed to bridge the gap between the physical and digital worlds, making it easier for users to understand and interact with software. For example, using a digital bookshelf interface that resembles a physical bookshelf with realistic textures and page turning animations help users intuitively navigate an ebook library as it mirrors a familiar real world experience. Next is Neomorphism. Neomorphism is a design trend that blends the principles of skeuomorphism and minimalism, creating a soft 3D effect in user interfaces. It's needed to enhance the visual appeal and tactile experience in digital design. By mimicking real-world elements like buttons and switches, neomorphism adds depth and realism to UIs, making them more intuitive and engaging for users. Glass morphism is a design trend characterized by sleek, transparent and glass-like user interface elements. It's needed for its modern and visually appealing aesthetic, offering a sense of depth and sophistication to user interfaces. Designers can use glass morphism to create captivating UI elements such as frosted glass overlays, blurred backgrounds and semi-transparent cards, enhancing the overall user experience and making interfaces more engaging and intuitive. Immersive design Immersive design is the art of creating engaging and captivating user experiences by fully involving the audience in a digital or physical environment. It's needed to enhance user engagement and create memorable interactions. For example, Imagine a website that uses parallax scrolling to guide users through a visually stunning story, blurring the line between design and user experience. Immersive design is all about making your audience an active part of the design journey, leaving a lasting impression and fostering a deeper connection. Next is Accessible Design. Accessible Design is a game changer in the world of graphic design. It's all about creating inclusive and user-friendly experiences for everyone, including those with disabilities. Designers must consider factors like color contrast, legible typography, and keyboard navigation to ensure their work is accessible to all. This approach not only broadens your audience, but also aligns with the principles of inclusivity and equal access, making your designs impactful and user-centric. Let's move on to Atomic Design. Atomic Design is a systematic approach that breaks down design elements into their smallest reusable components, such as buttons, forms and icons. It is needed to create consistent and efficient design systems. Designers use atomic design to construct user interfaces. By assembling these atomic components into more complex structures, ensuring visual coherence and scalability. For instance, in web design, designers use atomic design principles to construct reusable elements like buttons, forms and cards ensuring visual and functional harmony throughout a website or application. This modular approach streamlines design and development, making it easier to create and maintain complex designs with a unified style, saving time and effort in the long run. Next is Voice User Interface Design, abbreviated as VUI. 
It is the art of creating interactive experiences using voice commands and responses often found in applications like virtual assistants and smart speakers. It's needed to make technology more accessible and convenient, particularly for users who prefer hands-free or eyes-free interactions. An example is Amazon's Alexa, which relies on VUI design to enable users to control smart devices, get information or play music through voice commands making everyday tasks easier and more efficient. Designers can use VUI to craft intuitive and natural voice-driven interactions, improving user experiences. Multimodal design is a forward-looking approach that takes into account various user inputs such as voice, touch, and gesture to create versatile and user friendly interface. Designers can use multimodal design to create applications and interfaces that respond to different inputs, enhancing accessibility and usability. By considering a range of user interactions, designers ensure their creations are adaptable and relevant in a world where technology continues to evolve. It's needed to adapt to the evolving ways people interact with technology, providing a seamless and inclusive user experience. Zero UI represents a design approach that aims to create interfaces requiring no physical interaction, relying instead on natural and intuitive user inputs such as voice, gestures, or sensors. Designers can employ Zero UI in products like smart home devices where users can control lighting, temperature, or music through voice commands, providing seamless and efficient interactions without the need for touch or buttons. It's needed to enhance user experiences by reducing physical effort, making technology more accessible. Haptic design. It's all about enriching digital experiences by integrating tactile feedback into designs, enhancing user engagement and interaction. Designers can utilize haptic feedback in touch screens, wearables, and VR interfaces to provide users with real-time responses, such as sounds and vibrations, to enhance realism and interactivity. For example, in an ATM machine, it can simulate the sound of counting notes when dispensing cash, giving users a sense of confirmation and assurance in their transaction. It's needed to bridge the gap between the digital and physical worlds, offering users a more sensory and immersive experience. Our last section is about prototyping and testing. A-B testing is a powerful method in design that involves presenting users with two or more design variations to determine which one performs better in terms of user engagement, conversion rates, or other key metrics. For example, a designer might A-B test two different button designs on a website to determine which one generates more clicks and conversions. It's essential for designers to make data-driven decisions and continuously refine their designs based on user preferences and behavior. Click-through prototypes are interactive design models that allow users to navigate and test the functionality of a design before it's fully developed. They are essential for designers to gather user feedback, test usability, and identify potential issues early in the design process. Designers can create interactive click-through prototypes using tools like Adobe XD, Figma, or Envision, enabling users to click through the interface as if it were a functional website or app. This technique provides a realistic user experience and helps designers refine and improve their designs based on real user interactions and insights. Heatmaps 
Our powerful analytical tools that visually represent user interactions on a website or app. They are vital for designers to understand how users engage with their designs as they reveal where users click, move and linger. This insight is essential for refining user experiences and optimizing layouts. For example, a heat map might show that users frequently click on a particular image or call to action button, prompting designers to emphasize or enhance that element for better user engagement. By using heat maps, designers can make informed data-driven decisions that lead to more effective and user-friendly designs. As we conclude our deep dive into the vast world of design, I hope you have found inspiration and valuable insights for your creative endeavors. Mastering these 101 design terms isn't just about knowing the lingo, it's your key to unlocking innovation, refining project scopes and enhancing user experiences. Whether you are exploring design trends, delving into advanced brand strategies, or navigating the intricacies of UI UX, remember that knowledge is your greatest asset. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know your favorite design term or share your ideas for future videos. Until next time, hasta la vista chiro.